This is Lesson 7. Connect area diagrams and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm with renaming. Here we're going to multiply 524 times 136. We now have three digit by three digit multiplication. We are going to designate 524 as our units, we're going to multiply it by 136. As we complete our area model, we find that when 524 is multiplied by 6, we get 3,000, 3,144. When 524 is multiplied by 30, we get 15,720. And when 524 is multiplied by 100, we get 500, excuse me, 52,400. Now we're going to put those into the standard algorithm. 6 times 4 is 24. We're going to regroup the two tens into the tens column. 6 times 2 is 12, plus those two is 14. We have a 1 to put in the hundreds column. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. Now we're multiplying 30 times 4. That's 120. We put a 1 here in our hundreds column. 3 tens times 2 tens is 6 tens. 600 plus 1 is 700. And 5 hundreds times 3 tens is 15,000. We're through multiplying by the tens. Now we're multiplying our 100 times 4, 400. 100 times 20, 2,000. 100 times 500, 50,000. And we're ready to add these up. We have a 4 in the ones place, 6 in our tens place, 8 plus 4 is 12, and we have 1 to bring over into our thousands place. 4 plus 5 is 9, 10, 11, and a 1 again to regroup, 5, 6, 7, 71,264. And you can see that our first partial product, 3,144, 15,720 is our second one, 52,400 is our last one. Those all came directly from our partial products in our area model. Before we solve this problem uh, with a four-digit number times a three-digit number. Let's get an estimate. 4,509 would round to 5,000, and 326 would round to 300. So my answer should be about, one, two, three, four, five, about 1,500,000. We notice in one of our factors, 4,509, that there are no tens. So in our area model, we have a place for ones, for hundreds, for thousands, but we do not need to show the tens in this problem. Here we show the area model for 4,509 and 326. We have all the partial products. And we've added the partial products as we've multiplied each digit times the place value in the other number. Let's look at the standard algorithm for this same problem. 9 times 6 is 54. The 5 tens. 6 times 0 is 0, plus those 5 tens. And now we're through with that. 5 times 6 is 30. We put our 0. It, it's 30 hundreds. We put our zero in the hundreds place. So we go over into the thousands. Six times four is 24 plus three is 27. Notice this matches the first partial product from our area model. Now we're multiplying 20 times 4,509. 20 times nine is 180. We have one that goes over into the hundreds place. 2 times 0 is 0, plus that 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10, 
and we have 1 in the next place value. 4 times 2 is 8, plus that 1 is 9. 90,280. Obviously made a mistake right there, and I know that because I compared it to my partial product. When I did 2 times 9 and got 18, and brought the 1 over, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 180. Now my partial products match. Finally, I am multiplying 300 times 4,509. 300 times 9 is 2,700. I put my 7 in, and my 2 will go over into the next column to add in. 3 times 0 is 0, plus the 2 gives me a 2 in the thousands place. 5 times 3 is 15, and I bring a 1 over. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. And I use that. Now I'm going to add up my place values. I have 4, 8 plus 5 is 13, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, and 5 is 16, 3 plus 1 is 4. I have 1,469,934, which as I look at my estimate that I made to begin with, 1,500,000, my number is close, so I'm happy with my product.